All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are here playing Russian Fishing 4, and we're going to do some carp fishing at Old Berg. At least we hope to. We're going to, I think you can safely say that at least in recent years, this is the number one carp spot at Old Berg. If people are trying to fish for carp at Old Berg, this is at least one of probably three spots that you would check. And I feel like this one has been really good lately. This is, of course, I'm talking about 2167, which we are at right now. So we're going to uh, make a little ground bait first. Uh, sorry, not ground bait, a little PVA. And as you can see, we're going to be leaning into the cranberry. We're um, mixing in some black currant with the cranberry. Also using a little different base, but no big deal. We'll see how it goes. And hopefully we don't burn through 60s too quick because we don't have any other available. I guess the real hope is hopefully we don't fail right here so that we don't have to go back to town. All right, so let's uh, load up. So you'll notice that as, as what is often the case, my first and third rod are gonna be identical. And we're gonna try something a little different on the um, middle rod. So we are casting 17 meter clip right here angled to the right at 2167 again very typical space and setup for this spot so notice that we have a large one hook and the smaller size boilies so that's what's different on this middle rod and i would suggest we'll see how this works because you never know but based on if it's if it's like it often is i might suggest that if you don't have pva unlocked Try to feed the water another way and consider using smaller size boilies like I have on the middle rod, the 16 size with corn. That should increase the bite rate. On the first and third rod, we have larger hooks and larger boilies. This should be a fairly sm uh, slow bite rate, but what we're hoping is that we will catch some carp here at Oldberg, including but not limited to some nice black carp. That's that's really what we're hoping. So we'll see how it goes. And I will keep you updated as the fish either do or do not come in. As we are about to go into the overnight hours. So this could be a little slow start but we'll see how it goes all right we have some fish on or at least one fish on so remember this middle rod does have the smaller setup but if we still catch decent fish on this then that will be a good sign looks like that's going to be our first grass carp nice size five kilo we'll definitely take that and uh as I was sort of thinking might be the case, we will hopefully depend on this middle rod to have a little bit better than average bite rate, even if we end up waiting a long time for the activity on the larger size boilies here. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so we are, just as a reminder, at 17 meter clip up here in C2 at 2167. So we literally just came out of the fort, across the bridge, took a left, as you saw, and stopped here at C2 to fish 2167. We have a little nibble going on on one of our larger boily sizes. This one has the two aught hooks, 20 pop-up cranberry boilies with some cranberry red corn our cranberry dip and I guess I haven't shown you the PVA yet oh yes I have because we actually made it together didn't we so uh, once again here's the PVA enjoy that PVA or spod or ground bait or just throw some something out there long nibble 
So maybe it's uh, hmm. Maybe it's a trophy crucian instead. I don't know. It sure is taking a long time though. Oh, it might have popped on, or is that just the wind? I think that's just the wind, maybe, actually. Yeah, I still haven't had my uh, my uh, craft tea and coffee stream. Oh, I think we have a fish on. Right? Yeah. Woo! Of course, we're out of energy here, but... I believe we have another grass carp. This one a little bigger. Oh yeah, twice as big. 10 kilo grass carp. You gotta love that. I am, I am excited about that. Some nice old bird carp. So second nibble on the middle rod, potentially third fish. It's about 1.30 in the morning. And so far, you know, fairly, fairly slow but expected bite rate. It's old bird carp. It's gonna be a little slow, but hopefully the fishing will still be good. I think we have our third grass carp. We are zeroing in on the grass carpet at the moment. Wow, 11.9, that's almost a 12 kilo grass carp and that was on the middle rod, so the smaller, smaller setup and smaller hook size. That's our biggest one yet, I love it. All right, so starting to see the trend, we're about to get our third fish off of the middle rod and at some point, if the bite rate increases, I may lose track of this, but I think right now we can clearly see that if it's bite rate and maybe even like a farm that you're after, the smaller size setups is probably going to be advantageous. Uh, if it's size of carp you're after, then yeah, maybe the larger setups are still worth considering. But let's see if we are going to go for our fourth grass carp here. Definitely seems like it does have a little size to it, so it probably is a carp. And it looks to me like another grass carp. Uh, as I said earlier, we are kind of hoping that... Another big one, 11.3. We are kind of hoping that we will find some black carp as well, occasionally. They are certainly the rare, the rare fish. But where there's gra car grass carp, sometimes you do have a chance of stumbling into some black carp as well. Hey, okay. we're about to go number four on middle rod five altogether. Yeah, this would be. Uh, this would be a different kind of experience if I had not changed the recipe and tried something a little smaller, a little different on that middle rod. But uh, it, it, it seemed like the good option to me. In fact, I would suggest doing all three like this, especially if you don't have PVA. Oh, the slow nibbling. Well, so far it's been all grass carp, yeah? Mm. This is yet another Five 
5.7 kilo. I mean, one thing I'll say is they've all been pretty healthy size. 5 to 11 point something kilo. Pretty nice range. All right, so we are 10 and a half minutes into the recording, but we are 17 minutes into fishing. Uh, it has been a bit slow. We're five for five on uh, grass carp. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we are, we're about to be six out of seven fish caught on the middle rod. It actually might be a decent bite rate if we were just using the middle rod setup. There's our first non grass carp and there's gonna be one of the arguments for sticking with the larger setup is you're more likely to dodge the gibble carp. They're gonna like the smaller boilies, although these boilies are a little big for them, but not impossible for them to do. Uh, in fact, even the big boilies are not impossible, but less likely. I will say corn sometimes will attract smaller fish. So having the corn on there like that instead of a double boilie setup probably opens us up a little bit to smaller fish as well. So I could mention here that Vladislav Ryshov is who posted this spot in Old Bird. Uh, so that's where the info most recently at least came from. Worth post uh, mentioning here, we're now at 23 minutes of fishing and only, you know, six fish and five of them are carp, or at least regular carp. Uh, we had something nibbling on the first line. It appears to maybe have backed off. Uh, I think we're catching a fish on the middle line. The third line has yet to catch a fish. So I'm actually considering recasting that line. This is going to be another small fish, unfortunately. So, so far we are having a pretty, uh, a pretty disappointing uh, experience so far here. Let's go ahead and recast this. And in fact, I might actually change some things on this rig. What do we want to do? I think I might try, first of all, going classic hair rig. The only thing I'm not sure about is what do we have in terms of cranberry options? Okay, so I don't have, okay, no, that might change my mind because I'm not going to go back to the store. I don't have the right size. Um, I don't think there's, by the way, I don't think there's any pellets that are cranberry in flavor. We could look through there and just try to find something, but we don't have the right size sinking boilies anyway. Um, Cause really like, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I've not fished with cranberries a ton in this game for what it's worth. You know, we could try pop up and go with the smaller cranberry and the smaller uh, black currant and go back to our cranberry PVA because remember we actually have black currant and cranberry stuff in there. I think this could be an interesting mix. Just want to try something different because frankly we're just we're not on the fish right now. Uh, we'll leave the first line set up the other way in case it picks up in the afternoon or something. But right now we're you know we made it through the morning hours when you expect the best carp fishing to be happening and we just about didn't catch anything. So we're going to turn a couple of these smaller grass carps into pieces of fish. And hopefully this first line that was getting that nibble maybe still catches something, but maybe not. Maybe it's been so long now that it's not likely to. Oh, there's the middle rod again. Uh, as I said before, I think it's, setting up this smaller setup is the way to go and just deal with you know getting a combination of smaller fish but at least you're catching fish and you have a chance at bigger carp and stuff i think there's a fish on there swam right for the shore he's already here it's gonna be our first black carp so this is why we're here this is a good sign if black carp are even possible 
Look at the XP on that one with uh, Happy Hour. 6.6, .6, almost 6.7 kilos, and that was on the smaller setup, so that's nice. Uh, weather does matter. Notice we're on a 8.9 degree, some little bit of wind, uh, over completely overcast at the moment. Getting our first fish on the third setup, which is the new setup, uh, and our only our second fish, I believe. All right, there's 16. Let's check. Let's test this. 20. There's our one fish. It was a 10 kilo grass carp. 16, 16, 16. Yeah, so it's just that one fish that we caught on 20 so far. So if we get a second fish on this setup, it will literally be the second one. And then we just changed this setup. So uh, this will be our first fish there, but it has hardly been in the water. So, all right, second fish on the primary setup, the one that we were led to believe would be really good for this spot. Only catches its second fish, and it is a 3.7 grass carp. Hopefully, this, uh, this third rod will hook this fish soon, though. We at least have had a, a flourish, a little bit of activity here in the last few minutes, and it looks like another bite on the middle rod as well. So third and second rod both have, hopefully, bites that will lead to us catching fish. All right, third rod's got a fish on. This is the cranberry and black currant combo, which matches our current PVA. It's gonna be another three kilo grass carp. And middle rod now has a fish on as well. This appears to be our first common carp of the day. 2.8 kilos, so not very big, but good to see one. I mean, they typically are active in this spot along with the grass carp when this spot is active. So good to see that. Oh, we might've had another fish that swam. Yeah, swam for the shore. Oh, there it is. It's actually a decent sized fish. I didn't even know we had a fish on. All of a sudden the line bends backwards. That's one thing that would be nice about those rod pods. Uh, if they work you know, correctly, they tend to have uh, bite indicators in both directions. I think I'm saying that correctly. There's another decent grass cart, by the way. And that was our third fish on the prescribed setup for this spot. The size 20 boilies with corn on the two hot hooks. But overall, the spot has continued to be very slow. I mean, we're at 34 minutes of fishing, 18 minutes of video, 11 fish. Keepers, we've caught more fish than that, but in terms of keepers. Well, Comparatively, I'd say at this point, this experiment probably isn't worth continuing. So let's just go ahead and switch this up. That has definitely been slower than the other rods, even slower than the larger one. I think what I actually want to try is just the corn. We're just going to go with the cranberry corn. See if that does anything. I don't know why I don't just set it up like the middle rod. This has clearly been the best rod. But I like to experiment, I suppose. All right, it's gonna be another grass carp. 12.12, I think that's the largest one yet. Yep.
And almost immediately we get a fish on the third rod with just the corn. Four point four grass carp, we'll take it. So based on the bait size, you would expect the uh bite frequency to be highest on the far right rod at this point with just the corn and then obviously the middle rod has far outpaced the left rod and the only difference there is a smaller hook and smaller main boily. All right, got another fish. So again, two fish in a row on the corn only rod. So especially without PVA, maybe this is the answer run one or two and this is a big black carp for i mean especially if you're like a mid-level player just getting into carp fishing just throw some cranberry corn out here this might be the way to go increase your bite rate maybe have two rods with just the corn and then one rod with the smaller size boily and corn which i don't think i have them but you can probably get even smaller cranberry boilies Oh, well, I have 10. That's right, in the sinking. And we could have tried that. We could have tried, you know, if I had them, we could have done like 10 and 15 or 10 and 16 sinking boily combo since there aren't really pellets that we would probably want to put with it. But all right, so here's middle rod again, getting yet another grass carp. Got to love it. So now we are at 15 at least keepers. Let's get this back in the water pretty quick. Of course, the dream here is that this is going to be a really big black carp on line one here. But that's two black carp. So even though the overall bite rate has only been 15 keepers out of it now about 44 minutes, with two black carp, that does make it a little bit more worth it in my estimation. I would still want to work on, if for some reason I was needing to fish here, based on my level or whatever and i wanted to do some carp fishing i would still work on trying to increase this bite rate some but obviously there's some pretty good fishing that's possible at the moment here one of the things that people often like about this spot for carp fishing is during the day you can also oftentimes catch pike here in a very similar place uh, you can throw some funky minnows or jerk bait or whatever you've got for pike in this same area and when they're biting when they're hot that's a pretty cool combo to get sort of carp 24 7 with pike during the day that can be a nice a really nice grind well we've got fish coming in on both outside rods theoretically if these nibbles will uh progress That fish is on line one. I'm just waiting to make sure it's like all the way on there. Well, we saw what size it was. It wasn't that big. And even though it had been on for a while, according to the graphics, somehow the game didn't recognize that it was on. And when I picked it up, it popped off and it didn't get, I didn't get a fish got away. I, I don't think it was an FGA. It just was a, it wasn't on there long enough, apparently. Another grass carp on line three. Okay. Once again, corn only line is now outpacing the other, even the middle, middle line is not keeping up with It is quite the reminder we've had in this in this video of how these grass carp just nibble away, don't they?
50 minutes, 17 fish. Nice little crucian carp. Pretty nice sized grass carp, considering that was on the corn. All right, we are at 54 minutes, so we don't have that much longer. I mean, we've got 19 fish, all except for this fella as a keeper. And so that's really 18. And then we also turned two into fishes apiece. I think we're probably at about 21, 22 fish caught, something like that. And that's about to go up a little bit here as we get back towards evening. Remember, we started fishing at like, what, 10 p.m., something like that. Maybe 10.30. Grass carp. Would have been nice to hit one more black carp. Don't know that it's going to happen, but that's a little bigger one. 8.3, not quite the 11, 12 kilo we saw a little earlier, but still bigger than the average one we've seen. Just as a reminder, we are at 17 meter clip. Seems like cranberry stuff is working here. Black, car black carp are possible. If anything, the overall bite rate might be a little lower than ideal. It's not terrible though. And you know, you can kind of take a look at the different rig types or rigs we've experimented with and make your own decision on sort of how you want to set it up if you decide to fish here. Uh, but let's hopefully catch one or two more fish before we wrap this up. It's another nice grass carp. So let's see, that's 58. I think we can put these lines back in for another couple minutes because sometimes they have been getting pretty decent bite rates on the returns, but we'll see how it goes this time. Oh, our second common carp. 5.6 kilo, we'll take that. Now let's see if we can get one more, one more bite here. All right, so we are at one hour exactly. We've got one more fish on here on, of course, the corn, and we're gonna cut it off, because that's, that's an hour. Might as well stop at an hour. One more grass carp there. And unfortunately, the larger size boilies, 
just never came through again. We never got a follow-up bite or fish after that last one popped off. So very disappointing. Uh, but let's go see if we have any grass carp orders in the cafe, I suppose, and then sell our fish. Did we break 100? I guess we probably did. We've got two black carp. Just so many of those smaller carp sizes don't actually translate to that much silver. But yeah, we probably did break 100. Uh, in this session. And it was over an hour fishing, but we got it done in about 32 minutes on the, on the video, which considering the slow bite rate, at, at least at times, I'm glad we shaved a little bit of time off. So, we have absolutely nothing. Uh, always love to see the Bream trophy order, but nothing that helps us. And I was way off as we come in at 230 silver. See those black carp do all right, but look at the big size grass carp. Uh, those really are shining and propel us to really a decent silver amount for one hour for the level that Oldberg is available at. If you have even some starter carp gear and you set it up appropriately, which I would say would probably lean more in this direction, try to find a way to feed the water if you can, but um, you actually might do all right. You might do all right. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Tight lines, everybody.